Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the next Dual Flush Toilet Conversion Kit by Danco. In the kit, you'll receive the Dual Flush, the Quick Fill Valve, Refill Tube, a Split Handle, a Gap Cam, Black Rubber Ring, and an Extra Zip Tie. Note that the optional J-Tube is not included with the box set. The installation instructions are divided into two parts, installing the fill valve and then the flush converter. It's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and put this in. First, shut off the water to your toilet tank. Next, with a pencil, mark the water surface level inside the toilet. Flush the toilet to drain the tank. Now you can remove the inlet hose going to the tank. Make sure to have a catch bucket ready in case any water runs out. Remove the nut holding on the existing fill valve and drain the remaining water into a bucket. Now you can lift out the fill valve, making sure to detach it from the flush handle. Next, take the new quick fill valve from the kit and remove the nut on the bottom of the tube. Place it into the hole in your tank, making sure the outlet at the bottom is facing the inside of the tank. Now thread the self-locking nut onto the bottom of the inlet valve and tighten until it clicks two to three times. For the next step, lock the float in the off or up position with the white locking tab. You'll want to make sure the top of the float is at or below the top of the tank rim. If it is too high, firmly grasp the top and twist clockwise to unlock the height adjuster, then press the top down. Once it's at the proper height, turn the unit counterclockwise to lock it again. Although mine looks a bit high, my tank lid is raised, so it still fits under the lid. If your overflow pipe has a hose guide cap, remove it. Next, remove the flush handle by unscrewing the nut holding it to the tank. You'll also need to take out the old flapper. Now you can install the dual flush handle. Unscrew the nut on the handle and insert it into the hole, then tighten the nut on the inside of the tank. When installing the flush controller, pay attention to the color-coded switches on the flush gear. One has a green tab and the other has a blue tab. When attaching to the flush handle, simply match the color of the tab on the controller to the one on the stem of the handle, in my case, green. Then push the corresponding port onto the stem while holding down the tab, and it should snap into place. Now disassemble the flush converter by giving the base a clockwise twist. We'll install the bottom section first. Slide the bottom piece over the overflow tube and press it down until it sits snug in the hole in the tank. It should fit both flat and angled holes. Use the gap cam to take up any slack between the pipe and the sleeve and press it all the way down. Rotate counterclockwise to ensure a snug fit. Now take the rubber o-ring and slip it down over the overflow pipe, pressing it against the pipe sleeve. With one hand, apply downward pressure to the o-ring and pull the end of the zip tie with the other until it's tight. This should keep the entire assembly in place and snug. Now we can reassemble the flush converter by sliding it onto the base and rotating clockwise. Attach the fill tube to the fill float nipple. Then clip it onto the overflow pipe with the opening facing the center of the pipe. Reattach the inlet hose, then turn the water back on. Now you can unlock the float and the tank should start filling. You'll want the water level to be about a half inch to one inch below the top of the overflow tube. If the water level is too high, twist the float leveler counterclockwise. If it's too low, twist clockwise. Next, we'll adjust the blue float to be half an inch under the water level. This controls the amount of water used during a quick flush. Move it up for less water and push it down for more. On the left side of the flush converter, this green tab adjusts the amount of water used during a full flush. Again, up uses less water and down uses more. Finally, this small green lever here adjusts the water flow into the tank. Down is shut off and up is fully open. When you flush the toilet, you're looking for the water level to reach the line of your original pencil mark. With a quick flush, you'll notice that it uses significantly less water. I like this system a lot because it does save water when you don't need to flush a full tank. I installed my first one about three years ago, and I haven't experienced any problems with it like leaks or even the need to replace the flapper. This second one is installed in the guest bathroom. The only thing I'd caution you to do is measure your toilet tank first. The tank in the main bath is 12 inches tall, which works perfectly. However, the tank height in the guest bath is only 11 inches tall, which is barely enough to fit the float valve. In this one, the quick flush sometimes isn't enough to clear the toilet, and you do have to hold it down for two seconds. It's still less water than a full flush, but you have to remember to hold the handle down. Overall, installation of the conversion kit was fairly painless, and the unit helps us save water throughout the year. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.